it's me, Pastor Kelly. I'm here at Naperville Covenant Church. I'm so glad you're watching this video. Happy New Year. Uh, this is my first time actually in the building after about two weeks uh, since Christmas Eve. I took a little time off to celebrate Christmas with my family, uh, but we also had COVID hit our home. And so we had to stay home for, um, well, at least 10 days, end up being a little more for all of us combined. Um, fortunately, we didn't get very sick. I'm so glad we got our vaccines. I hope if you guys are able, you think about getting your vaccine if you haven't. Um, and uh, we just continue, uh, we continue on with this crazy world we're living in. And guys, um, as you know, our church is virtual. Uh, this is two Sundays this month. We were virtual last week and we're virtual today. And so how do I want to be? to get a video out to them just to say hello to greet you to tell you how i miss you and how i hope we are back together um next week i want you to know that next week we will be back at sunday squad and uh we will be starting a new set of lessons with a holy moly curriculum on jesus and I am so excited to talk about Jesus with you guys in the coming months. So take a look at the link below. You will find a schedule for the next few weeks of Sunday Squad and what we'll be doing um, with our curriculum. Um, also in the link below, I have a Bible search crossword puzzle as I like to do kind of at the end of um, a month of learning together. Uh, so this one, even though Christmas I know is in the past now, uh, you get to test your knowledge and dig into the Bible um, with some of the Bible verses and details of the Christmas story. So I challenge you to print that out at home and complete it. And when you come back to church next, show me your completed crossword puzzle and I'll have a little prize for you. Well, guys, I don't have a uh, Holy Moly lesson for you today. I don't have a long Bible lesson that I want to share with you. Um, but I wanted to give you a moment to take a deep breath. And then I wanted to give you a moment to get up and dance. I, I think life as a Christian, life as someone who's following Jesus, I need to find this balance, right? Of being quiet, of being calm. Um, you probably heard that Bible verse that says, be still and know that I am God. That is part of what it means to, uh, to follow Jesus, is to be still to pray, talk to God, just take a deep breath. We know that's good for us physically, and it's even in the Bible uh, to be still before God. But then there's also passages in the Bible about dancing before God and making music and celebrating God's goodness and, um, and uh, all the ways that we can do that. So I wanted to give you guys a moment to take a deep breath with me. Can you do that with me? And then uh, I have a song that I want to share with you guys, and it's got dance moves, and it's fun. Um, so I want to challenge you to get up wherever you are and dance, to dance to the song. Now, the song that I'm going to share with you is called Won't Let Go. Um, and it's, it's a great message for us right now, I think, um, just to remember that no matter what we're going through, um, no matter what's going on in our world, um, that Jesus is with us always, that Jesus won't let go. Um, and one of the lines uh, says, I know I'm not alone in the fire. I know I'm not alone in the storm. Now, I don't know if you guys know any Bible stories that uh, have fire in them or if you know any Bible stories that have storms in them. Uh, we did not read the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but I'm guessing that a few of you know that story from the book of Daniel um, where there were three guys who um, basically stood up to their faith in God and they ended up being put into a fiery flaming furnace. And God was with them, God protected them. So I think that's part of why the songwriters thought about, um, I know that you'll be with me in the fire. And then of course, we will be talking uh, in a few weeks about a storm um, where Jesus' disciples were in a storm and they, they were with Jesus. And he helped them. Um, and so we can look at scripture and see how God uh, is with his people, even in these crazy times. Um, hopefully you are never actually in a fire. Um, some of you might be in a storm, but there might be other things in your life that just feel 
challenging, that feel threatening, that feel um, feel hard. And I want you to know that God is with you. God is always with you. Those are a couple of Bible stories that this song makes me think of. But it also makes me think of a passage from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a prophet in the Old Testament. Um, and uh, he is um, kind of in the middle of your Bible after Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Solomon. Um, I want you to find the Bible and see if you can find Isaiah. Um, if you need to use the table of contents, of course you can. Um, and find the page with the big number 43 on it. I want to read the first few verses of Isaiah chapter 43. These are words that God gave to the prophet Isaiah to share with God's people. And um, it says this, Family of Jacob, the Lord created you. People of Israel, he formed you. He says, do not be afraid. I will set you free. I will send for you by me. You belong to me. You will pass through deep waters that I will be with you. You will pass through the rivers that the waters will not sweep over you. You will walk through fire that you will not be burned. The flames will not harm you. I am the Lord your God. I am the Holy One of Israel. I am the one who saves you. So words for um, God's people so many years ago are for you today as well, my friends. That even though you might have to uh, scary places, times in life, God is with you. God created you. God is with you. And God is the one who promises to save you. And uh, Jesus Christ, of course, is the promised Savior who came at Christmas and will be learning more about you. So, let's try to be fresh, okay? We're going to breathe in and breathe out. Got it. Breathe in and breathe out. Got to be with you. Got it. Got it. Do one more deep breath and then we'll breathe. I'm going to turn to you this week and for your family and that you will know the presence of God in your life and know that God is always available to you. Um, God is there in the crazy moments, um, but sometimes we can become even more aware of God's presence in your life. Pause, take a deep breath, be still, know that God is real, that God is with us, and that um, there are all kinds of promises throughout the Bible that God will be with us. Uh, no matter what. So, I hope you have an awesome week. I hope you enjoy this song. Get up on your feet. Grab someone else. Get them to get up on their feet. And I hope you enjoy dancing and singing and remembering this promise that Jesus won't let go. Have a great week, guys. I will see you soon. God bless you. Bye. Enjoy the song.